All right. Whew. Take a deep breath. All right, guys. Well, the vector opportunity. Tell me, what do you guys, what do you guys think of when you hear the vector opportunity? Like, what comes to mind when you hear vector opportunity? What do you think of when you hear vector opportunity? Scholarships. Okay. How about you? What do you think of? <clears throat> like uh, <clears throat> or prize, you know. Winning stuff. Winning stuff? Yeah. Okay. All right. I want to win stuff. We all do, right? Okay. And uh, what about you, Stephen? Lastly, what do you think of? When what do I think of the vector opportunity? Mm -hmm. What comes to mind? Personal growth. Okay. All right. Interesting. Well, those are all great definitions of what you guys would uh, consider to be the vector opportunity. Well, I remember at the end of the key staff meeting, Amber asked who wanted to give the key, uh, the vector opportunity speech. And in my head, I was thinking, uh, um, do I want to do this? <laughs> I, in my head, I was like, okay. And finally, I mustered up the courage to say, all right, I'll do it. Well, <clears throat> the reason why I chose to accept this opportunity to give this speech was because, for one, I've never really given a planned out and full thought out speech. For two, I want to grow out of my fear of public speaking as well as um, talking in front of my peers, just like I'm doing right now. And three, uh, most importantly, I want to help better and inspire the lives of others, not just in this office, but with uh, whomever I come in contact with, whether it be because of Vector or not. Um, all right, well, before I get all mushy mushy with you guys, uh, let's get back to the Vector opportunity. Uh, the, vector opportunity, the vector opportunity is a process um, for individuals such as yourselves to grow, just like Steven said, um, to grow in the different aspects of your lives. Uh, from developing skills such as a knife selling purse salesman to skills that you develop and use later on the rest of your life, uh, such as learning to grow out of your shells, uh, hold a conversation for a much longer time, uh, also, being able to manage your time more wisely. <clears throat> also, with, with a vector opportunity, you'll probably be able to get um, learn how to plan out a schedule and maintain that schedule for, for the week, or even for that day. All right, well, how many of you will consider selling cocoa to be more of a job or more of an opportunity? More of a job, raise your hand. All right, <laughs> and how about more of an opportunity? Well, now an opportunity for what, most of you may be thinking. Uh, to start off, everyone in this room started out at the same place. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is we all sat through the long and boring training. Just, in ki just kidding. <laughs> Jamie and Amber. Uh, <laughs> training was not boring. Uh, well, <laughs> sample, we, all, we all started off doing demos. Sample kit in our arms, sitting at the kitchen table, doing presentations. All right? Well, doing those presentations, planning out your own schedules, um, going through the ups and downs of having great weeks to even your worst weeks well, you, if you didn't sell anything. Well, and feeling as though you accomplished nothing. Um, and still receiving positive and great and understanding feedback from when you call in the office and or even when you come into the office. <clears throat> they all provide you with opportunity to help you develop the right attitude, courage, and discipline for those certain situations that all come with a vector opportunity. So let me ask you, why are you guys here right now? Why did you all agree and say yes into selling knives? Was it because of the money? Or was it because of the job experience? Or maybe you needed a place where you feel like you'd be needed. Or maybe this office was just a place for you to come to and just... Get the sense of security, just like your bathroom, or like mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, um, whatever that reason may be, I'm sure all of you want to do something with your lives. And I'm sure all of you have great energy and desire to do something meaningful with it. Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you respond to it. And how you respond to it is a process. It's a learning process <clears throat> that that defines you. Now, what what do you consider that define? What do you do that defines you? Here, vector. Here, at vector. Selling knives is the process, and the vector opportunity is a developing opportunity. I personally believe that this vector company is a developing, 
develops future leaders, not just for the business of selling Cutco, but also developing future leaders for the world around us. Here at Vector, you might often hear, <laughs> here at Vector, uh, you might often hear, what are you doing to expand your capacity? How can you, what can you do to give it your best for the next week, for push? What are you doing to give it your all? <clears throat> well, for the people who at least try to do these things, through the Vector opportunity, I believe, are developed into great future leaders. <clears throat> and no matter how long you plan on staying with this company, whether it be for the next month or for the next year, you know, I encourage all of you to use the skills that you develop here as a catalyst into achieving your true goals and aspirations. And I also encourage you to use those skills um, to just challenge yourself to go as far as you can. How far are you willing to go to achieve your true goals? And lastly, I want to close by saying this quote by T.S. Eliot. Only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Thanks. My name is Eric Paulius. I'll be here every Wednesday. <laughs>